how do environmental risks continue to dominate uh, a lot of what you're seeing this year, the risk landscape uh, over all time frames now and into the future? Yeah, so extreme weather is number two, even in the two-year time frame. And I think that's not surprising given that we've just had in the Northern Hemisphere one of the hottest um, uh, temperature years uh, ever recorded. Um, there's also El Nino is, is back, and that's going to, of course, have an impact as well across weather systems. So there's a lot of concern about what's going to be happening frankly, even in the short term, and whether a lot of countries that are being affected, whether they have the really the adaptive capacity, given that they're dealing with so many other challenges. But in addition to that, as you pointed out earlier, four of the top yeah. 10 are all related to the environment. There is deep concern what this is going to mean. Are we going to potentially go over tipping points that were previously predicted to be reached much later on? are we heading into a world where we might breach some of those tipping points earlier? So deep concern from a lot of the participants on that. And I think we shouldn't also forget that climate risks very quickly become societal risks, economic risks. They end up dovetailing with so many other aspects, all the way from very specific local communities that end up being affected by extreme weather, all the way through to what that means for crop production, for water shortages and shipping routes. So four of the top 10 presently, but it's the top four 10 years hence. I understand when you say that, look, you aren't predicting anything, but it, this is where we are headed. And it is truly frightening. You know, 10 years later, we could be having extreme weather events, critical changes to the earth systems and ecosystem collapse, a shortage of natural resources. I mean, misinformation and disinformation goes down to fifth. Um, I mean, clearly, the world's concern on the environment 10 years hence could be uh, much more than we're seeing now. And it's, it's worrying, isn't it? Yes, and I, I think that worry is coming through in all of the experts' ranking of these risks because they believe that not enough has been done. And that is why a decade out, we could still end up having climate risks at the very top. Um, and this is a pattern we have had now for a very long time. I think every year we tend to have the climate risks always as the number one concern in the decade out type of time frame because people continue to believe that still not enough is being done either in terms of adaptation or in terms of mitigation.